Dutch boat owners, we're spoiled for choice these days. The type of hull, the type of engine, electronics, even the type of safety gear you carry. Life jackets are a very good case in point. You know, most of us have a boat full of inflatable life jackets, but the question is, can you rely on them if it comes to the crunch? You probably don't give too much thought to the different types of inflatable life jackets you carry on board. Yeah, that's something, yeah, whack. But a recent demonstration day held by Marine and Safety Tasmania showed it's a good idea to get to know what your jacket can actually do. You've got to be confident in how your jacket works, know its capabilities, and look, the start of next summer, blow it up manually, jump in the water and see how you go. A level 150 jacket is the most common type among recreational boaters and the testing showed that if inflated and fitted correctly it will keep your head up and out of the water. But it's not foolproof, particularly if the wearer is floating face down. Pretty well found that a normal 150 Newton jacket, if you're in the water face down, it won't necessarily turn you over its design. Mast found that two main factors contributed to making sure an inflatable life jacket performs as it should. After the mast testing we found that once a crutch strap was fitted to the jackets and also that the jackets were pulled relatively tight on the person's body that they performed a lot better so a crutch strap's most important and also make sure that the jacket fits you correctly. So remember, if you're the skipper, you're responsible for making sure everyone on board has a jacket that fits them and they know how to use it. You've got to make sure that your crew, the passengers you're taking out, your friends, your family, your partners, whoever it might be, make sure they're conversant with how their life jacket works. Make sure they're told whether it's an automatic inflator or a manual inflator. And indeed, look, I can recall a fatality in Tasmania not so long ago where somebody drowned because they didn't know how the life jacket worked.